All right, let's learn how to solve systems of equations in three variables using the Gaussian elimination method. So here's how we're going to go about this. We're going to start by reviewing the row echelon form of a 3x3 three three matrix or 3x3 three three matrices. And then I'm going to show you the best steps that you need to really master if you want to be able to solve this type of questions or this type of systems. And then we're going to apply this to solve some examples together. So let's talk about the row echelon form in 3x3 three three matrices. Don't confuse this with the reduced row echelon form. This is just the row echelon form. So here's what we're going to do. We're going to draw our matrix. So the first number on the first row is 1. The second number on the second row is 1. And the first number is 0. The third number on the first row is 1. The first and the second numbers are 0. And every other number in the matrix is non-zero. So let's call this A, B, C. Something like that. Okay, so that's really how your row echelon form looks like. So now the next thing we're going to be talking about is the steps that we need to follow if we have to solve a system of equations in three variables using the Gaussian elimination method. The first thing you're going to do is to write the system or express the system in augmented matrix form. And then on the side, you're going to write the desired row echelon form of the matrix that you're looking to get to. And then we're going to use elimination method to get our current augmented form of the matrix to that desired row echelon form. And then we'll go ahead and create equations. And you're going to see how that comes about. We'll create some equations and then solve the equations to get the values of our variables. So let's go ahead and put this to, to test. So solve the system of equations using the Gaussian elimination method. Okay, so I'm going to just write 1, 1, 1, 0, 0, 0. I call this A, B, and then C. So let's do that. So the first thing we're going to do here is to write it in augmented matrix form. So we have negative 3, negative 1, negative 3, and then we have negative 8. The next one is negative 5, 3, 6, and then negative 4. And then we have negative 6, negative 4, and then we have 1, and then negative 20. So what I'm going to actually try to do is I'm going to try to get to this point. So let me just circle what I'm trying to get to. I'm going to try to get to this point, and then well, once we get to that point, we're good for the rest of the, the matrix. So let's go ahead and see what we need to do. So here I'm going to eliminate this one right here. So how do I do that? Row 3 is going to be row 3 minus 2 row 1. So with that in mind, let's go ahead and fill in rows 1 and 2. Let's fill in rows 1 and 2 because row 3 is the one we're making a change to. So row 1 is negative 3, negative 1, negative 3, and then we have negative 8. We have negative 5, 3, 6, and then negative 4. And now we go ahead and... So row 3 is negative 6, negative 4, 1, negative 20. And then negative 2 row 1 is going to be 6 over here. We have 2, then we have 6, and then we have 16. So let's go ahead and add this. We have 0 over here. We have negative 2. We have 7 here, and then we have negative 4. So the next thing we're going to do here is we're going to try to get rid of, well, let's go ahead and go one step and get rid of this right here. Because we don't want to make things too complicated. So let's get rid of that one first. So we're going to say row 2 is equal to negative 5 row 1 plus 
three, row two. So let's go ahead and fill in rows one and three. Negative three, negative one, negative three, and then we have negative eight. And then we have zero, negative two, seven, and negative four. So negative five row one is 15, five, 15, and 40. Three row two is negative 15, nine, 18, and then negative 12. So let's go ahead and simplify this here. So this is going to give us zero. This is 14. And this is 33. And this is 28. So now what we're going to do here is we're going to say row 3 is equal to row 2 plus 7 row 1. Sorry, row 3. Row 2 plus 7 row 3. So let's go ahead and plug in rows 1 and 2. Row 1 is negative 3, negative 1, negative 3, and then we have negative 8. We have here 0, 14, 33, and then we have 28. So row 2 is 0, 14, 33, and then we have 28. 7 row 3 is 0, negative 14, 49, and negative 28. So what do we have here? We have 0, 0, and then we have 16. Actually, we're adding up here. So this is going to be 72. Seventy two here, and then we add here, we get zero. So we're going to say row three divided by seventy two, and we're going to end up with negative three, negative one, negative three, and then we have negative eight, zero, fourteen, thirty three, and then we have twenty eight. 0, 0, 1, 0. So now we have Y. Actually, we have Z. That's Z, not Y. We have Z equal to 0. So for this one here, we're going to have 14Y plus 0 equal to 28. And so we divide both sides. So this is 14y equal to 28. So y is equal to 2. So now we'll go, so we now have two variables. We have y equal to 2, z equal to 0. So y equal to 2. So now let's go ahead and plug that into the first one. So it's negative 3x. minus 1y minus 3 minus 3z and z is 0 equal to negative 8. So we have negative 3x minus 2 equal to 8. So what we're going to do now is we're going to add 2 to both sides. This is negative 8 rather. Negative 3x equal to negative 6 divided by negative 3. And then you have x equal to 2. So your system is going to be 2, 2, 0. So what we can do is we can just spot check a few. So this is 2, 2, 0. Yeah, that makes sense. Negative 6 minus, that's fine. 2, this is negative 10 plus 6, negative 4, is this 0? Negative 12 minus 8, 
which is negative 20. So that is correct. So now let's go ahead and attempt another example. So we have 1, 1, 1, 0, 0, 0, A, B, C. That's what I'm looking for. So let's go ahead and plug this. Let's create our augmented matrix first. 3, negative 3, 4, and then we have negative 23. We have 1, 2, negative 3, 25. We have 4, some errors here. That is V here, and this is also Z right there. Okay, so that looks fine. So 4, negative 6, 1, and then we have 25 here. So now we're going to try to solve the system. Here we are aiming for, let's start off by changing this. Let's try to deal with this one first. So we're going to say row 2 equal to row 1 minus 3 row 2. So let's go ahead and plug this in. So we have 3, negative 3, 4, and then negative 23. Row 2 is the one we're changing. So let's skip that. 4, negative 6, 1, and then 25. Row 1 is... 3, negative 3, 4, negative 23. Minus 3, row 2 is negative 3, negative 6, 9, and then negative 75. So what we have now is we have 0, negative 9, 13, negative 98. So now we're going to go ahead to row 3 and try to adjust that. Row 3 is going to be minus 4 row 1 plus row 3. Okay, so let's go ahead and plug in rows 1 and 2. 3, negative 3, 4, and then negative 23. 0, negative 9, Thirteen, negative ninety-eight, and now let's go ahead. So we have row three, so negative four row th row one. Okay, so that is negative twelve, twelve, negative sixteen, ninety-two, and then this is going to be three row three. So that is twelve negative 18, 3, 75. So we're going to now have 0, negative 6, negative 13, 167. Getting to look interesting. Okay, the next thing we're going to do here is to get rid of this negative 6 here. So we're going to say row 3 equal to 3 row 3 minus 2 row 2. So let's go ahead and plug in our rows 1 and 2. 3, negative 3, 4, and then negative 23. And then we have 0, negative 9, 13, negative 98. Okay, so let's start with 3, row 3. We have 0, negative 18, negative 39, and then 501. Two, negative 2, row 2 is going to be 0, 18, negative 26, negative, this is 
196 negative 2 so plus 196 so this is going to be 0 0 negative 65 697 something looks completely off so let's go back and take a look at what we've done so far so row 2 here is row 1 minus 3 row 2 so we got 3 3 negative 4 negative 23 so row 1 is 3 negative 3 4 negative 23 minus 3 row 2 is negative 3 negative 6 positive 9 negative 75 and then 4 negative 6 1 25 and so what do we have here we have 0 negative 9 13 negative 98 okay that's fine okay so the next thing we're going to do here is we're going to say row 3 divided by negative 65 and so that is going to give us we'll pull in rows 1 and 2 3 negative 3 4 and then negative 23 and then we have 0 negative 9 13 negative 98 and then we have 0 0 1 and then negative 6 97 over 65 so now what we're going to do with this is simply say for this second one, we have negative 9y plus 13z, which is 13 multiplied by negative 697 over 65 equal to negative 98. So let's go ahead and solve that. So negative 9y minus, this is going to be minus 697 over 5 equal to negative 98. So we're going to add negative 697 over 5 to both sides. So actually, we're just going to add 697 over 5, not add negative. We add 697 over 5 to both sides. Okay, so we have negative 9y equal to 697 over 5 minus 490 over 5. So negative 9y equal to 207 over 5. So we divide this by negative 9, multiply by 1 over 9, negative. So this is going to be negative 23 over 5. So therefore, we have x is unknown y is negative 23 over 5 and then z is equal to negative 697 over 65. so the last thing we're going to do is we're going to use one of the let's use the 4x minus 6y so we have 4x minus 6y plus z equal to 25 so we're going to use that to get the value of x so we have 4x minus 6 multiplied by negative 23 over 5 plus negative 697 over 65 equal to 25 
So let's go ahead and simplify. So 4x plus 138 over 5 minus 697 over 65 equal to 25. So let, we can see if we can simplify this one right here. So we can just switch them over to the other side. If you have your calculator, you will find out that um, we can actually go ahead and move these constants to the other side. So 4x equal to 25 over 1 minus 138 over 5 plus 697 over 65. So we can, if we go ahead and use a calculator, this is one of those problems you're going to probably need a calculator to save you a lot of time. So this is, we're going to multiply everything, we're going to multiply everything by 65. So let's go ahead and multiply everything by 65. So 260x equal to 25 multiplied by 65, that's probably going to be 1625. This is going to be negative 138 multiplied by 13. So 1380 plus 414. So negative 138 multiplied by 10 by 3. So is 1794. Okay, this is minus 1794 plus 697. So let's go ahead and simplify this. This is one of those problems that probably we'll never see again after, well, not at your level right now. This is very advanced. And so we go ahead and simplify this. So this is going to be 1625697. So let's, this is 2, this is 2, this is 3, this is 2, and then we subtract 1625. So this is going to be 7 here. This is 9, 6. Check this properly. We multiply everything here by 65, 1625, 138 minus 138 multiplied by 13. Okay, 160, 1620, 94. So this is 8, 2, and then this is 5. So 260x equal to 528. Divide by 260. Divide by 260. So we have x equal to, let's divide this. This is um, probably divisible by 4, 132 over 65. So now we have x equal to 132 over 65, y equal to negative 23 over 5, and then z equal to negative 697 over 65. So this, this is actually the solution to this system that we have. So this is generally the method that you would follow if you are trying to use the Gaussian elimination. Just so we can do a quick overview on that. First of all, you want to just find the value of one of the variables and just substitute that into all the other uh, equations or exp all the other equations to to get the remaining um, the remaining the value of the remaining variable so you can find the solution to the system.